and I'm back with some cool things. Check this out. I got a cool setup with some cars and some signs and we can play. Now look, this car can zip down the road and she has to slow down though, you know why? She sees a sign that says, watch for children. The kids are playing at the park. She can't go too fast. And right here is a barricade sign. It means you can't go through this road. In this case, it's closed off for a construction zone. You see the big old the dump truck and the crane and they're doing all this stuff here and you can't go through. Now over here, this car, he's zipping down the road. He has to stop, you know why? He's come to a stop sign. A stop sign means you have to stop. You can't go through it. And over here, she's driving down the road. She has to stop because ding, 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 ding. She came to a railroad crossing. The RR stands for railroad. And the X in the middle stands for crossing, not explorer like I. And right over here, now this man, this guy, he wants to go surfing, right? He's driving down to the beach. But guess what? Uh-oh. He has to stop for one moment because he came to a stoplight and it's red. Now stoplights actually, unlike a stop sign, a stop sign never changes. It's always stop. A stoplight will change. It'll go from red down to green, and green means go. The red means stop, the green means go. And before it goes back to red, it turns yellow. That means slow down and prepare to stop. And over here, this guy has to stop too. You know why? He came to a school crossing. You can see the bus right here. The bus is coming down the road, a school bus. Now all these signs are really, really cool. It's fun to play with, but guess what? They're only toys. There are so many cool signs out in the world that are real signs, big giant signs. You can see all kinds of signs. You Every sign you can think of, every shape. They have squares and rectangles and triangles and arrows and diamonds. Every size and shape you can imagine, every color too. You have brown signs and red signs and green signs and blue signs and white signs and yellow signs and orange signs. Every color, every shape. Signs are awesome, I love signs. And you know what? You can go out right now and you can see some signs too. And no matter where you're at, no matter what state you're in, the signs all mean the same thing. You can cross from state to state and all the signs are the same. That way, you always know what the sign means. Isn't that great? So why don't we go out right now and go check out the world and go explore the signs out in our own neighborhoods and see what we can find, all right? I'll see you in a moment. Now, this sign is really cool. It says, O-N-E, one, W-A-Y, way, one way, and an arrow pointing this way. You know what that means? That means I can't go this way. That's the wrong way. One way, most streets you can drive in both directions. You can drive this way, you can drive that way, but some streets you can only drive in one direction and they have to tell you that because if they didn't, a car would come this way, a car would come this way and bang, they'd have a collision and that would not be good, of course. So, the signs tell you, follow the arrows, go one way, this way only. And in case you're coming from over here, they also warn you with another sign that says here, do not enter. So cars coming in the wrong direction see big giant signs that say do not enter. There's one on this side and one on that side as well. They double warn you to do not enter. Now if you're walking it's just okay if it's on the street, but sometimes do not enter for an area. You gotta be careful, always be careful, but certainly if you're riding a bicycle, don't ride this direction, ride, ride the other direction. Remember, when you're riding a bicycle, these, these signs aren't just for cars, they're for all vehicles on the road. And a bicycle or a skateboard or a scooter is a vehicle on the road. And so to be safe, you have to follow the rules of the signs. Those are the rules of the road. They keep you safe because if you don't, you might get hit by a car and that wouldn't be good. So this time we, we can walk through here, but we can't drive through here because it says do not enter. Okay, great. Now this sign is simply a directional sign. It tells you when you come to this fork in this road, don't go that way, go that way. Again, there's a do not enter sign there, so you don't want to go that way. This sign tells you to go that way. That's the right direction for this particular road. You can drive that way on this road. You can't drive that way. This sign lets you know that. It's just a basic directional sign. Okay, we can find some more now. All right, now this is your basic stop sign. I think we've seen this a million times, right? S-T-O-P, stop. It's a red octagon. And even if you don't see the letters, you see that red octagon, that's universal. We know that means stop. Right away, you go stop. But here's something. It says all way. Stop all way. Now, why would it say all way? Well, because you can see in this case, there's actually one, two, 
three street corners. They actually, there's a park there, so it's not four. Normally, an intersection has four, four ways to go. But this one only has three because of the park. But this stop sign, when it says all way, it means that every single direction has a stop sign. So this, going this way has a stop sign, going that way has a stop sign, and going this way has a stop sign. So everyone has to stop and take their turn. Because sometimes the stop sign only is two ways. Sometimes cars going this way have no stop sign, and these cars have to wait and wait and wait until all the cars are done this way. That's a two-way stop sign. A four-way, or in this case, an all-way stop sign, means that every single intersection street has a stop sign. That means that you know that you're gonna to come to a stop and let somebody else go. You take your turns. And by the way, when you come to a stop, now so let's say everybody comes to the stop at the exact same time, who gets to go first? Well, you look to your right. The car or the person, the vehicle going to your right is the one that goes first. So if two cars come at the same time, the car to the right or the bicycle to the right or the skateboard to the right, that's who gets to go first past the stop sign. So now you know. And there are a lot more signs in the world. There are so many signs, it's crazy. Let's go find some more signs. All right, come on. Now this right here, let's call a speed limit sign. So this tells vehicles how fast they can go. Now if you're riding a bicycle or something, you don't need to worry about speed limit because you really can't go that fast. But cars can go very fast. This tells cars that this one, see on top it says school. And the big yellow sign, the big yellow part, that says school. And speed limit 15, that means 15 miles an hour. And then it says when children are present. So normally you can, in, the, in this street you can go about 25 miles an hour. But you can only go 15, which is 10 miles an hour slower when children are present. And that's what that tells people. And the reason for that is, of course, you don't want to run over a child. The children, of course, are kind of hard to see. Sometimes they're small and the cars don't always see them when they're driving. So this warns people that, hey, this is a school zone. Be careful. That's why it's in bright yellow. So, because all speed limit signs are white. So the bright yellow part says, this is special. This is something to pay attention to. And the yellow grabs the driver's eyes and they look at it and say, what is that? <gasps> it's a school, a school zone. I better be extra careful and make sure that I only drive 15 miles an hour around here. I don't want to run over any kids because that would be very bad. Especially if you get run over. I wouldn't want to see you get run over. That'd be, I'd feel horrible. So be aware that if you have a school, there should be a sign just like that somewhere near your school. And I'm sure your mom or dad, they drop you off, they'll say they'll slow down every time. And I think there might be another sign, sign around here that might even point that out some more. So here's another yellow sign. This one is all yellow. It says ahead. Now what does that mean? Well, right above it is a picture of a grown-up walking across with a child. That means that there's a school crossing ahead. So the parents are crossing the street with their kids. So be careful. So again, a yellow sign tells the drivers or anyone in the vehicle to be extra, extra, extra careful and extra aware of something's going on. So this is a school crossing ahead. Now this is a nice green sign. Most green signs are informational signs. This one is telling you, welcome to Pine Lake Park. And then it gives you a list of all the things that you can and cannot do in this park. It tells you the hours. They're open, they're, they're closed from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. It says, be courteous and respectful of others. Of course, that's just natural, I don't have to tell you that. But it tells you you can't camp here. You can't smoke here. You can't feed the birds or the animals. Don't litter. No alcohol or glass containers. If you have a dog, keep your dog on a leash. And dog walkers, please pick up and remove your dog waste. And help keep our parks clean. Take all items home with you when you're done. Don't leave things behind. And this park, of course, is a drug-free zone, as all parks are. So this part, I mean this sign, gives you all the information about the park. And you'll see that a lot when you go to a public place, you'll see a green sign kind of giving you the information about that park or that, that location. And that's what green signs are for. If you see a green sign, you know you can find information about the place right away. Okay? And this is actually good information because, you know, if you come back to Pine Lake Park, now you know what to do, or what you can't do rather. There's a whole lot of things you can't do. But the one thing you can do is have fun and enjoy yourself, always, as always. Now this sign has a couple of different things going on here. There's a big yellow triangle and it's blank. There's no lettering on there, so what could it mean, right? It's a mystery. Well, yellow means slow down and be cautious. So, and this is a neighborhood area, so it tells you to slow down and drive carefully in this area because it's a neighborhood area. There are a lot of kids walking around, a lot of people walking around, so please be careful. And then right above that, you can see it says 33rd Avenue. 
and another sign next to it says Wawona. So those are actually called street names. So whenever you see a sign like that, it's in white, sometimes they're in blue, sometimes they're in green, sometimes they're even in brown. But there's a little tiny strip and they have a name in there or a number, that's called a street name. So that's how you know where you're at. Now this one says 33rd Avenue. So that means it should be a 32nd Avenue, possibly a 34th, but they go numerically. So whenever you see a street sign that says first or second or third or fourth or something of that nature, that means if you're looking for a particular address, just follow the numbers until you get to the street that you want. And some are avenues, some are streets, some are boulevards, some are courts, some are lanes, some are ways. Um, they come in a broad, name, broad variety of names for the streets, and I don't know why. Who decides what is the lane, what's the street, what's an avenue? But some people do, but that's what they are, and be aware of that. You live on a street, I'm sure. It's important, too, when you live on a street, try to remember your address. Remember what street you live on and your house number. So if you ever get lost, you can always go to a police officer or some other person in charge and say, I'm lost, here's my address, and it can help you find where you, where you need to go. Okay? All right. We'll find a few more street signs, I think, because there are a lot more out there. We can find some more, all right? Let's keep looking. So this sign is another green sign. Remember last time we, had a, we saw a green sign, it was informational about what was inside of a park, what you could do in a park. This one's also informational. Again, green signs are informational, but this one is for bicyclists on the road. It tells you where you go, where you can go, and how far each thing is. For example, Ocean Beach is 0.4 miles, or only two minutes. The zoo is 0.7 miles, or only five minutes. And you can go all the way to Golden Gate Park, which is 2.2 miles, well, that's a long way to go. But it's only 14 minutes on a bicycle. You can bicycle 2.2 miles in 14 minutes. That's actually something I did not know. That's actually a pretty good pace of riding a bicycle. So these signs, these green signs, kind of give you information. So even if you're on a bicycle, not a car, it tells you what you, what you can do. So always be aware, look around you. If you see a green sign, it'll help you out to, to get information that you may not know what, tell you where, to, where you're going, how far away you are, how much longer it'll take you to get there, okay? Okay, let's go find some more signs. So this sign says speed, S-P-E-E-D, speed hump, H-U-M-P, speed hump. So what this sign means is, if you can see on the road right here, I'm gonna run over here and I'm gonna show you. The road goes up. It actually goes up in the air and comes back down. So it literally is a hump in the road. Now it's called speed hump, which doesn't mean the cars hit it and they speed up. It actually means that the cars need to slow down. So this is to keep people safe. So if you might see one in your neighborhood, a speed hump in your neighborhood, and when a car comes by, it'll slow down. And sometimes cars go too fast and they have no reason to slow down. They should slow down, but they don't. But the speed hump forces them to slow down. So that's what this sign is for. And you notice it is a yellow diamond. So that means it's giving direction as to what this thing is coming up. It's just letting people know. It's to let drivers know. It's an informational sign for drivers. So the yellow signs normally are for drivers more than anything else. Some signs are for pedestrians as well, but this one, if you're on the sidewalk, it's not going to matter to you because there's no speed hump on the sidewalk. Because we don't need to slow down. We're going slow enough as it is, but the cars are going too fast. Okay, let's go find some more signs. Now this sign, says no parking. It gives you hours, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. And the reason is, it tells you street cleaning. So these signs tell the people that when they can and cannot park their cars here. See, normally, you just park your car in the street, you don't have to worry about it. But sometimes you have to think about the hours you're allowed to park, and you're not always allowed to park at all hours. And these kinds of signs, they're, see they're square, they're white and they have red, red lettering, they give information to the drivers whether or, not they can, whether or not they can park here on every single hour of every single day. In this case, they can park here most days, but for two hours a day, two days a week, they can't park here. And this lets you know. Now sometimes you'll see it will say, it will say um, you can park here for only like one hour, and generally those might have green lips instead of red, but we'll, we'll find one of those soon and I'll show you that one as well. But anyway, just keep in mind, so next time you're driving your bicycle and you want to park your bicycle on the street, I suggest if you do that, lock it up. But make sure you check that because it applies not just to cars, but to bicycles too. All right, let's go find some more signs, yes. Now this sign has what looks like a railroad track going right through the middle of it. And in fact, that's what it is. This street, as you can see right here, it's actually where streetcars go through here. There's track, there are tracks in the street. 
They're not your typical railroad tracks with ties, but they are, you see the rails, so a streetcar goes through here. So this tells you, this sign warrants you that there are streetcars that are coming through here, and there's a railroad tracks here going right through the street. So be aware and don't get sliced by, don't get hit by them. So again, signs are always very useful because they give you lots of information. If you pay attention to them, you can learn a lot of things and stay very safe. Signs are designed to keep you safe and keep other people safe as well. That's what they're there for. So always pay attention to signs as much as you can. Now sometimes you see a, a, a round sign which with, with an X in it and it says RR, that's a railroad crossing. Again, that is telling you that there are tracks there. In that, in that case, there's an actual train coming through, so be extra careful. So the trains, the tra if a train sees you, it can't stop in time, so you have to make sure you stay away from a train. But in this case, it's a streetcar, and it can still hit you and still hurt you, but it won't be as bad as a train. But always be careful, pay attention to signs, and let's go find some more signs. Now this sign is interesting. This one has different things on there. First you see a person walking, which as we know, means a pedestrian is going to cross the road there. And then you see an arrow that says here to, so that means you can see over there, you see all the cars going by? There's a crosswalk right there. There's also right on top of that sign, a red triangle that says yield, Y-I-E-L-D, yield. A red, a red triangle going down, and the word yield means to stop. That means that it tells all the cars coming by here that that crosswalk, if they see a pedestrian going across it, that they must yield, they must stop. So normally a car stops when they see a stop sign or a stop light. Otherwise, they keep on going. A yield sign means that you can drive as long as you want to, but as soon as somebody's ready to cross, you must stop. So the yield means they have to stop if they see a pedestrian. That's what that means right there. And now, I think it's time you take a break and listen to an actual song about signs done by our good friend, Kyle Bain. Kyle, take it away. Octagon, there's eight sides on an octagon. Better stop 
at the red octagon Cause it's a stop sign, a stop sign, a stop sign Signs, signs, in all shapes and sizes Signs, signs, they minimize surprises Signs, signs Surprises, signs, signs See if you can find one when you go for a drive Alright, thanks Kyle. That was a great song. I love that song, the sign song. It's very cool. Now here's another sign. Remember earlier we talked about the sign that showed you when you could park someplace? It said no parking on certain days. That was a red sign. You can see above it, the red and white means no parking. But some signs tell you that you can park here, but only for a certain amount of time every day. So this one is a green and white sign. A green and white sign says one hour parking, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., except Sundays. So that means that every single day, other than Sunday, Sunday you can park here all day long, but other than Sunday, you can only park here for one hour, no longer, between the hours of 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Before 7 a.m., you can park here as long as you want. And after 6 p.m., you can park here as long as you want. But during the day, only one hour. And the reason for that is that generally you see these type of signs in places that have a lot of cars coming and going. And so they limit the parking time, give everybody a fair chance to park there. And that's the idea behind it. So anyway, that's the idea behind that sign. Now, let's do one more time of that sign song. I loved it so much, I want to hear it one more time. But this time, let's do a cartoon version. I think it's a lot more fun. Let's check it out. Signs, signs, in all shapes and sizes. Signs, signs, they minimize surprises. Signs, signs. So if you go from Texas to Colorado for some bread, you can bet that all the stop signs will be red. Signs, signs, in all shapes and sizes. Signs, signs, they minimize surprises. Signs, signs, see if you can find one when you go for a drive. An octagon, there's eight sides on an octagon. Better stop at the red octagon, cause it's a stop sign, a stop sign, a stop.
Here we have a construction site. So a lot of times you'll see in the road, they're digging it up and they're putting in pipes or doing something with the road to fix it. And when that happens, they have to close down parts of the road and to traffic. And whenever that happens, they put up what's called temporary signs. Now temporary signs are generally orange. For example, here's one right here. It's an orange sign that says detour. It looks like a one-way sign, right? The arrow pointing just like a one-way sign. But it says detour, D-E-T-O-U-R, detour. Detour means you have to take a different route than what you initially planned. A detour is going a different way to get to where you want to. They'll still get you there, but in a different route. It's called a detour. And so construction sites often have detour signs. So what that means is don't be scared if the road's closed. They'll tell you which way to go. They'll help guide you. So these signs are especially important if you're trying to get someplace because when they close off the path that you plan to go on, you're like, what do I do? How do I get there? They say, these signs say, don't worry, we'll guide you. Just follow the signs. This one says go that way and you'll get where you want to go. And there'll be more signs down there kind of telling you what to do once you go down that way. Let's go find some of the other signs down there. First, actually, you know what? Let's check this out real quick. This sign's in white, but it's on orange and white striped sign. It says, keep right, road closed. So again, when you see road closed, that means something's going on, and the arrow tells you which way to go. You can't go that way. You have to go to the right, this way. So there's a reason for that, because again, these streets, if you go the wrong way, you'll have a, a collision. So it tells you to go that way. There's a detour sign over there to go that way. And now let's go find out where that detour sign leads to and see if it finds more signs down there to help us get to where we want to go. Now here's another orange detour sign. But this one has a little man on there. And he's walking. And the arrow's going both directions. That means it's a detour you can walk in either direction. See, cars can only go in one direction because cars are driving. The person can walk back and forth. But this tells you where there's a, a detour for, for pedestrians, not just for cars. So every sign is a different kind of sign. This one is for pedestrians. Keep aware, if you look for the, the symbol, they'll guide you and let you know what's going on. Let's go find another information about this particular construction site. So again, we're following the detour sign. This one has an arrow going up. And what does that mean? A detour going up in the air? No. A, an arrow going up actually means to go straight. So if it's, if it's pointing, if it said to go this way, if you go to the, to the right, or if it goes this way, you go to the left. But if it says go up, it means actually go straight ahead. So this detour continues straight ahead and it's going to the NB Lower Great Highway. What does NB mean? NB actually means northbound. If it was SB, it would be southbound. So NB means a northbound Lower Great Highway, and that's where the detour will take you. It tells you, this detour sign tells you where it's going to lead you to. So you know, so that way you, you can trust it. And if that's not where you want to go, then you can, you can turn off and go someplace else. So again, whenever you see on a, a construction site somewhere, look for the orange signs. They'll tell you where to go. They'll tell you what to do. And that way you won't get lost. And because they're not going to turn up the street and kind of just leave you hanging there. They wouldn't do that. So just be, be aware of that and always pay attention to that. But orange signs are only temporary, so be aware of that. If you come back and you see an orange, the next day this sign may be gone because it's not permanent. Orange is a temporary color, okay? and generally it means for construction and detours. This is a very special sign. Whenever you see a sign like this, it's called the Special Seat Shield. It's for the federal highway system. You'll see these in every state in the country, and they tell you about the freeway or the highway that you're going to go on. In this case, Interstate 280. So interstate means it goes across the states. 280 crosses across the states. Now some will go across every state from coast to coast. Some will just go across different states, but they're all connected and they're all run by the federal government. And the blue and the shield tell you this is a highway system. This is Highway 280 and it's going southbound. They go in different directions. Some go north, some go south. And the arrow means this way to get onto it. This is called the, the highway, the freeway entrance. And as you can see, there's also they're having a detour here. Remember the orange sign before 
for construction, they're doing construction, so they have these in orange. These are temporary signs to tell you that this is the temporary detour if you go that way. And California one is the, another state. Now this is a different side. This is only within California. This shield like this is interstate across the whole country. This sort of more of a triangle shape is just within the, st the state of California. So that's how you know this, this one will not go across the states. This one, will, this freeway will only take you within the, the state of California. This one will take you across multiple states. And there's a general big green sign. The big green sign are road signs to tell you where to exit that. This goes to the city of San Jose. That way, straight ahead goes to the Golden Gate Bridge and Highway 1. So big giant green signs on the freeway tell you where your exits are at and where you're going, the destination points. And these shield signs tell you the number of the highway or freeway that you're on. This case is 280. And now you know. And now it's time to do our favorite thing, guys. It's time to do our Explore Roar. I love the Explore Roar. Ready? Remember, we make the X on our chest, X for Explore, and we let it all out. Explore! I'll see you guys next time. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing, fellow explorers. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. I can really use your help. I do this for fun, so I'm not getting paid, but if you can hit that subscribe button, that helps me out. You know what else you can do? You can come visit my website, explore.com. That's right, X-S-P-L-O-O-R.com. I have some really cool things on there just for you. And you can also check me out on Instagram, on Twitter, even on Pinterest, and of course on Facebook. And even better than all of that, I have two free contests going on right now. What's the first one? Well, check this out. What are those? Explore Yo-Yo's official Explore Yo-Yo, official Duncan brand official Explore Yo-Yo. Can't beat that. And you can also win. <gasps> These are my official Explore hats. They have my Explore Circle logo in the front. On the side of the bill, it says Explore. And in the back, it has the Explore icon from my website. Pretty cool, huh? Free, again, one every month. You can buy them on the website. Win one free every month if you sign up and register, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey fellow explorers, I need subscribers to stay on the air, so please hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you. See you next time fellow explorers, take care.